Welcome to section four. In this section, we're going to understand the use and value of information and technology across the service value system. So the focus is on the information and technology aspects, particularly the modern technologies or the emerging technologies, as well as uh, other things like integrated service management tool sets, integration and data sharing, reporting and advanced analytics, collaboration and workflow, and then as mentioned a while ago, the emerging and the new technologies like RPA, robotic process automation, artificial intelligence and machine learning, continuous integration, deployment and delivery, information models. For this, uh, there will be um, four marks in the exam for these uh, topics. First, we begin with uh, integrated service management tool sets. People who are into service management use different kinds of tool sets. Maybe a software like Remedy or uh, Netcool and many others. However, these tools have emerged into enterprise level tools and a lot more modern tools have emerged in the recent years uh, in order to integrate various systems rather than having separate systems for let's say one system for IT asset management, another system for uh, incident management, another for uh, something else. So all of them need to be integrated so that the management can pull reports and uh, make decisions based on consolidated views uh, from that information. So what do these tool sets really do? These are basically, uh, these include the systems of record and systems of engagement. And why do they have these systems of record and systems of engagement? Uh, this is for raising, classifying, prioritizing, escalating, and resolving issues, requests, that is service requests, changes, and items in area of business and technology infrastructure, which means these tools actually help in uh, managing people aspects, IT uh, department related, service related, functional areas uh, with respect to incidents or changes or service requests and others. So it helps to document, helps to prioritize, help to classify, helps to assign, escalate, etc. There are two words coming up here, system of record and system of engagement. Uh, system of records are the traditional ones. Uh, it has been um, already in place in several decades. When uh, banks try to keep information in data files, that is known as a system of record. So system of record essentially requires electronic storage of data. But then systems of engagement, a system of engagement is also associated with electronic storage of data, but it has to do with the customer's experience. It should allow stakeholders to engage, to connect, for example. So if, for example, if you want to order a cab or a taxi, then it's a system of engagement. So a mobile app allows you to order a taxi, configure the kind of uh, taxi you need, economy, premium, luxury, etc., and uh, look at the route, uh, so those things are known as system of engagement. Another example of engagement system is where you can provide feedback to the cab operator. Uh, whereas the data about the passenger uh, is stored in the system that is known as a system of record. Therefore, more and more, it is becoming essential to have a good system of engagement rather than just re relying on a system of record. The next thing about these tool sets, uh, they need to be working in real time uh, because the uh, the gratification needs to be instant sometimes. Uh, there needs to be instant feedback uh, channels and uh, fulfillment. Uh, a person might want to suddenly order something online and how they can do that any time of the day. And uh, they want to check the status of their delivery or they may want to check uh, if they've done a financial transaction or if they're um, working on an application and fill the form and it has been forwarded to somebody for approval, they would like to know the status of approval in real time. Uh, originally, the paper-based systems, uh, one would have to follow up uh, uh, using a person to see what happened. Uh, eventually, they would uh, have an electronic form, but even then, uh, it was not possible to check the status of that electronically submitted form because somewhere else, somebody would print that form, sign on it, and scan it back and put it into another system but now we need integrated systems. 
So it can help a lot for inventory management, financial management, and uh, asset lifecycle management and other areas, or project lifecycle management, etc. There are some basic expectations about these tool sets. They need to have a proper interface. Uh, they need to enable the interface between IT and its users. So for example, forms uh, uh, should be uh, easy to fill in, easy to transmit, easy to receive and uh, uh, send it back with uh, signatures or other things. By doing this, the customer experience is improved, the service quality is improved. In some cases, there may be tools for uh, recording defects, assigning uh, defects or bugs to uh, specific employees or to record backlog. For example, in agile projects, we may have a product backlog or a sprint backlog. And uh, it may be in an information system and uh, people can uh, assign it to, a team can assign it to themselves uh, from the backlog items, which features or backlog items have to be delivered in the next release of the product. And the same thing goes for um, uh, tracking incidents, problems, changes, and other requests. And such tools, uh, one good thing is uh, they also enable uh, audit trails. It's possible to find out on what date uh, something originated, uh, when was a certain action taken, uh, was a correct action taken or not, was it rooted properly or not. So these are some of the advantages of um, uh, using uh, such systems. If you look at the real world uh, examples of such tool sets, uh, we have, uh, um, uh, for example, we have service desk tools uh, like Atlassian uh, Jira service desk, or uh, you have the, the well-known service now. We also have the smart service desk from smartservicedesk.co. And uh, there are other ones like um, 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 rescue assist and uh, so on, uh, which are ITSM tool sets. They allow, uh, uh, various functionalities, they have different modules which are integrated and uh, these are popular tools in the market. And by the way, just a disclaimer, I'm not trying to promote any of them, but um, I'm just uh, telling them from what I know and from experience, uh, because the number of tools in the market is quite large. And so um, you would have to explore uh, which ones uh, suit your uh, uh, industry and your uh, nature of uh, uh, customers and users and the relationships with those customers and the consumer world. Some of the benefits, uh, so this may be a repeat from the previous slide, some of it, and the functionality they should allow, uh, there should be ability to manage the work in real time, like uh, forwarding or uh, documenting information and in instant uh, routing to somebody else and tracking uh, what is the status of a task. For example, a ticket uh, to be uh, moved to another queue for further processing. Reporting and business analytics, um, so when there's a huge amount of data, there needs to be some kind of uh, uh, intelligent um, assessment or evaluation of the data and generate some good reports for the management. For example, the number of uh, uh, issues which happened in a quarter or number of successful uh, release or deployments happened in a single quarter right, across different uh, functional teams. Audit trails, I mentioned that already. Systems of record and engagement, I talked about that as well and uh, once again raising uh, tickets or logging a problem classifying a problem by technical areas so for example a level 3 support team could uh, take a problem for a recurring incident and classify that into a, a specific uh, technology area and prioritize it based on uh, the uh, the likelihood and impact of that uh, problem and uh, they may sometimes escalate to uh, development teams for uh, modifying a software or a hardware component. And it goes on and on with the other things like um, request handling and change handling. Such tools uh, also allow management of expectations because you can feed into the tool uh, certain service level targets and the tool can alert the staff about uh, how much time is left to meet the target or has it gone beyond the target, etc. And it has a lot of admin functions like um, um, consolidated reports or um, um, to generate reports of what is lacking, what can be improved. Some of them are, can be quite intelligent in terms of um, um, what type of changes are failing, what type of changes are succeeding. 
so by which uh, management can conclude that certain categories of changes require maybe process improvement or uh, or improvement in the the assessment uh, uh, steps uh, from the change authority. Uh, 